Alright, now, welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fault New Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch. Now we're going to keep talking to Veronica. She has some really, really good insight on the story. What's up? All companions pretty much do. They sort of add, act as, uh, little compasses. Little plot compasses. I have something... I have some questions I wanted to ask you. Well, when two people really love each other, you really don't know this stuff yet? Okay. What do you think of the NCR? I'm worried they'll be the death of the Brotherhood. They take what they want. We defend our interests to the death. But there's a handful of us, and tens or hundreds of thousands of them. So... It's not going to end well. Last time we clashed, we lost a lot of people. Retreated to our bunker. Now we're afraid to even move around during the day. I have questions I wanted to ask you. And, uh, by the way, she is just uh, telling the story of this chapter. The war is still going on. Uh, though it's more guerrilla style and, uh, sabotage and things like that. It's not really an open war. I have questions I wanted to ask you. Ooh, do I get a prize if I answer right? Uh, any thoughts about Caesar's Legion? Silliest dressed band of raping, slaving marauders you'll see east of California. I'll say that. Where's that touch of old world class? Although, I hear the soldiers mount each other as much as they mount their women, so maybe they did keep a little something from the Empire. No such privilege for the women, though. Figures. So, to answer your question, they're a bunch of hypocritical jerkwads. It's a word. Yeah, this, uh... I have to make this See clear. You when you hear about the Legion, there's a whole bunch of this stuff about uh, them being raving homosexuals. Basically. This is completely NCR propaganda. As we have a realistic plot, so not everything said is going to be the truth. It's just, it's something the NCR basically made up about them. It's actually the extreme opposite. Uh, homosexuals are uh, executed uh, because, uh, well, they they can't breed. Basically, is the is the reason, and the whole legion is about. The Legion itself, aid, aiding to aiding the group, basically fueling the war machine, and uh, we still have not seen much from Caesar's Legion, and they get a really bad rep in this game. And admittedly, they're kind of yeah, you know. it, it's mostly because uh, this game was sort of rushed in places, and that's one of the places where corners started getting cut. Back to Veronica. What's up? Tell me about yourself. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. How can I best use your skills? I like punching things, but sometimes shooting things just has to do. Anything else? Yeah. I've been taking things apart and putting them back together since before I said my first word. You want to build something? Talk to me, and we can do it right there on the spot. Workbenches are from novices. Who knows? I might even be able to show you a Brotherhood trick or two. My favorite subject. What are your goals? I want... a dress. What? A dress? Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. That's your goal? You want a nice dress? Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. Uh, 
Tell me something else about you. Can I make it up? Who is this Father Elijah to you? I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. I never had a grandfather, not that I knew, anyway. But Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagined a grandfather to be. Did you follow him from California? It was by his request, actually. He cleared it with the other elders. Somehow. They sent him to look into the dam. There was a time when I had begged to follow. Watch him at work. What changed? He did. For years, he fought with the council. Taught me to question our direction. Meanwhile, he'd become more out of touch than all of them. On our way east, he demanded we stop at Helios 1 to examine it. While we were there, we received word that the NCR had taken the dam. He was furious. Called it children playing with a bomb. But he was mad because we'd lost his power. What we'd use it for. He didn't even care. Ah. So now we have linked Helios 1 with the Brotherhood of Steel. Good thing we're going there. Also, I want to mention something very crucial to the plot. It's in pieces. It's a gigantic puzzle. You have to search around and find the plot. It, it's not that the plot is bad. It's just it's not all handed to you on the silver platter. You have to go and, well, search and do things and ask questions. So, how is that different from... Of how any other elder would have reacted. They're cautious. When they discover something, they respect it, learn its limits, consider how to preserve it. Used to drive Father Elijah crazy. He liked to learn limits too, but only so he could push them. That's not to excuse the other elders, though. They all covet technology for its own sake. Some are just more fanatical than others. Ever try to tuck sense in him? Yeah, I did. I couldn't help him. He just didn't listen. And the idea that people talk back to him. If he could have made the Brotherhood act like machines, ordering them around with the push of a button, he would have. Hmm. This Elijah seems like a pretty dark character. What'd you learn from him? Elijah could look at an old device and immediately understand what made it work. And he could see its potential where it fit with other technology. It's not something he could teach, but he tried with me. Some of it stuck. But that's what he taught me. You ask what I learned from him. How is that different? What did you learn from him? I learned what I don't want to become. In the end, it was just him and his vision. Nothing and no one else. I love that quote. Were you close? Yeah. I miss him. Where is he now? I don't know. Last time anyone saw him was in the battle at Helios 1. I wasn't there. He gave orders to hold the plant until he could be reactivated. But he ran out of time. The NCR overran it. Everyone thought he was dead. But I got a note from him at a comm station. That's how he liked to talk, even to me. He wasn't good at face-to-face. -face. I was in the note. It was... strange. Even for Father Elijah. He's always been unstable, but this was... something else. I don't want to say delusional, but I don't know what else to call it. The only thing familiar about it was the signature. He said the Brotherhood was doomed, but that he'd return, save us. But the way he said it... I don't know. Said he'd return with one of the greatest treasures of the old world. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Wipe the slate clean. Huh. <laughs> that sounds, uh... Okay, tell me something else about you. Like what? Do you have any other family in the Brotherhood? Just my parents, but they haven't been around for a long time. Dad was a paladin, Mom was a scribe. They died in the same battle, trying to hold off the NCR from... something. I don't remember what it was. Guess it seemed important at the time. Huh. <laughs> Tell me something else about you. Like what? Are you well respected among other members of the Brotherhood? 
If you take trying to keep me as far away from Hidden Valley as possible because I ask too many difficult questions as a sign of respect, oh yeah. That's not to say I don't get along with them. I just think they don't know what to do with me sometimes. Tell me something else about you. Like what? Hmm. Is there some place you want me to take you? Nowhere specific. I just know there are a lot of groups who are actually doing well for themselves out here. I want to understand how and why. See them at work. Like what? Ever been in love? Ever been nosy? I was. Once. We were pretty young, but I like to think it was love. What happened? She left the Brotherhood. Wanted to put some distance between herself and her parents. Since our membership isn't open to outsiders, some members think that obligates all of us to procreate. You can guess which camp her parents belong to. Hmm. It, okay, that was slightly hard to follow for some reason. You didn't go with her? No. Couldn't bring myself to leave everyone else behind. Couldn't convince her to stay, either. I'd hoped love would be enough to influence her decision, but it wasn't. We were both too stubborn. I don't know where she is now, but I'm sure she's moved on. I still think about her, though. Once in a while. Let's keep moving. Let's. Alright. I guess... What time is it? Uh, I guess I should find this place to sleep or something. Howdy. Maybe I can, uh... Maybe... I need to insert some action in here. Because I know you all get bored. Because you don't care about the plot. Can you spare some caps, mister? Sure. Just 25 caps. You're very kind. I wish... Well, I'll just thank you and leave you be. Your robot looks worth quite a few caps. What's up? This strip ain't nothing but a monster. Chews folks up, sucks out their caps, and spits them back out. Man, I love my guns. I really have more important things to do. Sorry. I've never seen a robot like that before. Don't bother me, please. Your lady friend seems out of place here. I lost everything <coughs> I had at the top. Uh, but if you gave me uh, 500 don't caps, die. I'd head don't straight don't back. Don't eat the squirrel bit, Sick, huh? They, uh, yeah, I think these they, destitute uh, travelers are actually uh, more hey. cut content. Because I don't remember them being here. So, anything else? CR troopers. A grill. Traveler. Do you have anything important to say? Your lady friend seems out of place here. Well, I'm stealing your bed. Ah! The th oh, People my People usually aren't stupid enough to steal for like gun runners. Usually. Morning. Ah. Ah. All right, everyone. Hello. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Ah, my eyes. I'll. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.